Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix up the standard assets and get rid of the errors when importing it into your project. This tutorial is sponsored by John John Games. So, if you guys are looking for a channel with plenty of content, gaming, and creativity, John's channel is the place to go. You should probably check out some of his socials too and stay up to date with all his latest content. Loads of stuff to see. You can find all kinds of games on there, some Grand Theft Auto stuff, even a couple of tutorials that even I haven't covered. If you fancy being sponsored in one of these tutorials, just like John John Games, all you need to do is click that join button below and become a sponsor. Now, on with the tutorial. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload to my channel on video game development. There's always loads to see, loads to learn and loads to do. With that in mind, let's get these errors fixed. Now, it's worth pointing out the standard assets do indeed say for Unity 2018.4, but that is just a naming convention. They will work with pretty much any version of Unity at the moment. The updates to the standard assets are very few and far between, which is why these errors do occur. So basically things change within Unity, but the standard assets have not been updated. It could be by the time you see this particular video that the standard assets have been updated and no longer contain any errors. But for now, you've more than likely got one, at least one, of three possible errors in the standard assets. One of these three, which is presumably why you could be here. Now, we are going to do this in a very strict sense of how we actually resolve these errors. And I'm going to assume that you have just imported the standard assets, or you've had the standard assets for maybe a few days, a week, and you've suddenly developed errors. The best thing to do is to literally delete everything and completely re-import the standard asset. So when I say delete everything, I don't mean your project. I just mean to specific folders. Now, the first one is going to be that standard assets folder. Yes, we're going to completely delete and re-import that standard assets. And the sample scenes folder is also something that is brought in with the standard assets itself. And we can see here, these are everything. Chances are it's going to be in this scripts folder where the problem occurs, but don't worry about that at all. We're going to go down the very stern route here. So best thing to do is quite literally delete those two folders. Now at this point, I know you're probably thinking, well, that just seems counterproductive, but don't worry, it really is not. For starters, it's got rid of the errors, but obviously we'd need the standard assets. So best thing to do, head to that asset store, click on import and re-import the standard assets. So what this will do is even though we've previously had the standard assets installed in this particular project, it's as though we've got rid of them, but theoretically maybe we haven't. You've got to think of it as we're refreshing the standard assets by re-importing. So make sure everything is ticked completely. So make sure we do have all and everything is going to be brought in. Now, as I said, this will re-import everything. And at the moment, I know you're thinking, yep, th 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 this is nonsense, but it really isn't. When we've managed to completely re-import these standard assets, we are then able to change a couple of things in the scripts, which would hopefully fix everything. So when we've re-imported, we should get rid of at least two errors. And we have. So that re-import has got rid of two errors to do with effects they are now sorted. The final error is to do with this GUI text. And I think this is the one most people have. So if you have the other two errors, don't worry about reimporting. If you have reimported, don't worry. It's not going to make too much of a difference. If you've got this error, all you need to do is double click on the error itself in the console. And what this will do is it will take you to the script in question. This one. Now, this particular script you can already see has some underlining here. And the reason this occurs is because things get deprecated, things get removed, things get changed. Things change all the time in Unity. And for whatever reason, this kind of thing can occur. To get around this, all we need to do at the very top of that script, which is simple activator menu. So if you've double clicked that console error, you'll be in the same script I am. You need to add in using Unity engine dot UI. And then down here where you have public GUI text, 
just change that to text. Save your script. And then if you head back into Unity, your final error will disappear. Perfect. Now the standard assets will work 100%. If you do have any other errors, your best thing to do at this point is to again re-import. If your error is different, like completely different, it could be that that error has been created after the publication of this video. If that is the case, I would encourage you to leave a comment of what that error is in it's all its glory, like the entire text of it. So as I, at least I and other people can see what the error is and probably be able to tell you what the fix would be. So I hope this little video has helped you to some degree fix any errors you get in the standard assets. And like I say, if you've got any different errors, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to figure out what it is and I will help you fix it. Until the next video, guys, thank you very much for watching.